In this quick video guide, we're going to see how we can export from Matbox and import into Unreal Engine 5, probably a character for your game or any props or assets that you want to use or furnishing, uh, industrial design, product design, whatever you created in Matbox and you want to bring in into Unreal Engine 5. Now, this is a really easy process and you need to have everything set up. Of course, I have this character right here in Matbox. So all I need to do is to choose if I want a high poly uh, mesh or a low poly and then I can export. Now, of course, if I have a really high poly, it's going to be heavier, but I don't need textures, uh, but only the, the diffuse texture probably. If I want to work with low poly, then I need to bake those details that I've sculpted and painted onto my subject into textures that then I need to set up in Unreal Engine. But here I'm just going to show you the quickest way you can export. So you just go in to select the objects that you want to export in the with the select tools. And once you select those, you can just uh, export and just choose the export and choose the FBX format. And you can see I've already exported this in a folder called mesh and I call this uh, text export high poly. And this is not so heavy for Unreal Engine 5. So Unreal Engine 5 has come to a point that really high poly mesh aren't so heavy anymore like uh, they used to be. So you need you can work a lot with the details and the sculpting and you know defining the character. Now when you finish to export you can jump into Unreal Engine. So of course you need to have Epic Games Launcher installed and the Unreal Engine 5 Install. I have Unreal Engine 5.1 for this video, but uh, it should work also for previous versions and uh, not so old, but previous version should work as well. And also for the following versions. Now, this is the third person template that you will find as, as soon as you open up the um, engine and you, you need to choose how you want to start. You can start with this third, point, third person shooter. And then what you want to do. If you want to use Data Smith import, you can use the Add Actor icon. Click on the little cube with the plus icon and select the object that you want to import. So this is one way you can try to import the FBX file. Now, if this doesn't work, you can try with the standard method, which is going into the content browser, click on Import button, and just select the same exact FBX. And you can see here that you have also folders. When you export from Matbox, you will also find a folder where you will find the textures inside. And so what I want to do here is just import the 3D model, which is the FBX 3D object. And I don't need to set up anything else. Materials and textures should come automatically in the process. So. It's, also, it's only asking me here to specify if I want a, like a skeletal mesh or a static mesh. Now let's go for the skeletal mesh, but static mesh it's um, pretty much the same thing. So it's going to import the 3D object, the textures and the material all together. And if it doesn't do that, you need to do that manually. You need to know how to work with the Unreal Engine 5. And if you want, you will find a video course in Unreal Engine 5 and also in Madbox in our channel, or you can ask for, uh, you know, assistance or info if you want to know more about Unreal Engine 5 and Madbox. So go and see the other video guides and the video courses in our channel because they are really interesting if you don't know, of course, how to use Unreal Engine and uh, Madbox yet. So uh, you can see now it's importing. You need to wait for, for some few seconds or minutes sometimes depending on how big is the mesh that you want to bring in and then close everything up here all the messages and now let's go and just want to show you here in the edit plugins this is where you, act you can activate the datasmith fbx importer or deactivate if you don't need it but if you want to try that way you need to activate it first if it's not activated by default Okay, now if we go back in the content, we can see that we have some spheres, which are the materials. And you can see I have imported three different objects and they have been 
uh, turned into three different skeletal mesh. So I can select all of those at once, which are like six different assets, and click and drag it into the level. And you can see now the character is there with all its components exported from Mudbox. So if I zoom in, I can see now my character. It looks fine. Texture looks fine. Material looks fine. You can also improve it, of course. There are also software and websites that will help you to create more texture to make um, beautiful materials. But this is just, again, a quick video guide for you to see how to import in a real engine from Mudbox. Now, if I double click on this material right here, which is white, I can easily set up my material here in a real engine using the specular maps the roughness, the metallic, so PBR materials, physically based render materials. But right now I'm just going to change the base color just to show you how easy it is and just close it and there it is. So I think that this experiment was successful. So if uh, I want to do something more complex, again, there are other features and other tools in Mudbox and Unreal Engine, but for this video right here, it's going to be all. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated for more videos. And also, if you want to help us, if you want to support us, join as a channel supporter. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide.